This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Prime. Pathankot, Uri and Surgical Strikes India's defence sector has made the headlines quite a bit in the last year and they're not the only ones. India's startup ecosystem has also been in the limelight since 2015's entrepreneurial boom. Hello and welcome to Startup Wednesday where today we are standing at the crossroads between both these worlds to see how the startup ecosystem is helping the defence sector. Starting with the two-year-old startup Cron Systems. Take a look. National borders are being guarded uh, 24 into 7 into 365 days, all days and all weathers. But uh, you know, uh, it's a human being which is basically keeping a watch. Uh, technological solutions which we need to be installed on the border so that we keep uh, technology basically helps uh, as a force multiplier to the to the men who are guarding the borders. And here's proof. Over the last year, those long rows of barbed wire fences that we all picture at India's borders have been given a technology facelift in many areas. Among those helping the defence sector embrace technology is the hardware startup Cron Systems. Founded in 2015, the Gurgaon based startup provides the defence sector with data encrypted infrared and laser walls for security at various international borders. These lasers detect any intrusion past border lines and an immediate signal alert is sent to the patrolling officer with specifications such as size and position of the intruder. Prone to unpredictable weather and rough terrains at border lines, they say this military-grade equipment is built to work from minus 50 to plus 60 degrees Celsius. But temperature isn't the only problem they face. The biggest problem nobody knows is borders have a lot of rat and snakes and they love chewing on the optical fibers. Okay. It's one of their favourite hobbies, like they just eat it from somewhere, it's a crore of uh, cabling done again. Okay. So what we did is, we created auto alignment first. Okay. What auto alignment does is, once you've installed the transmitter, once you've installed the receiver, just power them on. It's the worst terrains for us are Bengal and Punjab frontier, where villages are very near the, or Aknur okay. also for example, villages are hardly a kilometre away from the fence. Such insights about life at the border come from personal experiences of these founders who lived in these areas for six months of research before launching their startup. I used to drive a Scorpio at that time and this frontier called Aknur. I'm staying at a Morcha. Park my Scorpio behind the fence. A, it's not exactly legal. Yeah. <laughs> Shelling such. Okay. They shatter my car. Wow. <laughs> Insurance would obviously not pay. No. I hardly survived that one out. From parents calling them crazy to even selling their watches to raise funds, their journey has been an exciting one. And the idea first came to them from a random news clipping. India ended up importing metal fencing worth over 85 crores from Russia. My first question was, we are a country that makes so many engineers. If all of them are busy selling soaps, great, but there'll be some of them who can create a product, right? Why are we importing metal? from other countries. Why can't we create our own system? Tushar, 25, then got his 27-year-old childhood friend Saurav Agarwala, an NIT graduate, on board as CTO. And soon, a third co-founder also joined the team. While startup founders are often wary of entering India's projected $620 billion defence industry due to time-consuming public sector processes and perceived roadblocks, these entrepreneurs say it was easy once they understood the need at the border. They say their systems are one sixteenth the cost of any other similar global product. With their first round of funding raised from Your Nest Angel Fund last year, they are now gearing up to raise Series A round. In New Delhi with camera person Sushil Rati, Rial Meda, NDTV. Laser sharp technology catching intruders in the dead of the night. 
Well, speaking of night time at these borders, military forces are often caught in unfamiliar terrain and helping them to visualize and navigate this terrain with 3D technology is the data-driven startup Viz Experts. Dark, rocky and unpredictable. This is the kind of terrain India's defense forces are often navigating. And without any knowledge of their surroundings, they're going in blind. Helping our armed forces visualize and navigate these border areas is the Gurgaon-based startup Viz Experts. Using 3D visualization, gaming, simulation and geographic information systems, they can provide real-life 3D maps with weather conditions and altitude adjustments to help plot strategic operations faster and aid decision-making processes. So this is essentially analytics tools. We help them uh, see the trend of different activities uh, as time goes on, whether the number of fires have increased or reduced, uh, what's happening on the bots. The idea first came to 40-year-old IIT Varanasi graduate Praveen Bhani Ravka back in 2005 when he was working in the United States building technology for the American defense sector. So I used to work for this company called Silicon Graphics in the US. We were doing a lot of uh, work for the US Defense Forces. And uh, the question that me as an Indian who really wanted to come back to India and serve my country was that why can't we do the same things in our country? With the Border Security Force, Counter-Terrorism, Counter-Insurgency and National Security Guard as clients, Praveen says working with armed forces has been a smooth journey with only a few challenges along the way. In the defense sector, however, uh, uh, since we are working with the government systems, uh, a lot of procurement takes the, its own time and there's nothing you can do about it, right? Uh, when BSF uh, decided to give this purchase order to us, um, there was no uniform way of collecting all the data that BSF had. They had pockets of different data in all kinds of places. With a team of over a hundred across the country, this startup is completely bootstrapped at the moment and joining them in ushering in modern tech-enabled warfare are other startups like the Bangalore-based Tonbo Imaging and Axio Biosolutions, all looking for a slice of the defence sector pie, which is projected to grow to rupees 42 lakh crores by 2022. And the defence budget for 2016-17 to 17 was rupees 2.58 lakh crores, which included a category to push homegrown cutting-edge technology. 3D visualization helping decision making processes. Well, it's time for us to take a short break now, and when we're back, we're going to take a look at how technology simulations are helping the Indian Air Force. Stay tuned.